Hi everybody and welcome to the welcome video for our virtual Meet Stella and Dot event that will be happening here on Facebook this Thursday night, October 22nd from 8.30 p.m. Central Time to about 9 o'clock or so Central Time. So about 30 minutes of you sitting back relaxing from the comfort of your own home with your computer or your iPad in hand to just learn a little bit more about what it's like to be a Stella and Dot stylist. We are excited that someone has seen something in you or would love to just have you learn a little bit more. I am Christina Welch. I am a star director and a stylist with Stella and Dot. And I also like to share a little bit about my journey and because it might really resonate with some of you. You'll hear from other stylists as well. Um, but I am a mom and a wife. And I have been at Stella and Dot for probably like seven, almost seven and a half years or so. And I was working in freelance PR and events. I had had my um, boys and they are, were one and four at the time. So now they're eight and 11. They've grown up with me doing Stella and Dot. And I remember when I stumbled into this thinking, I just don't know if I want to be that girl that is going out and selling jewelry. I didn't know if my friends would like it. I didn't like, I kind of actually had an ick factor about what might be involved with this. And I really was hesitant to even send, click the send button to say, hey, I want to get some information about joining. And then I filtered it through and I read about the amazing pedigree of our chairman and our CEO and our founder and our designers. And I thought, you know what, you would be insane if you didn't even take a quick look at this. And I put it through this filter saying, if I don't do this, will I regret it? So I remember going through the motions of saying, okay, I've got, you know, I have a lot going on. You know, it was my son's first birthday that was coming up when I had found this. My husband and I were going on an anniversary trip. We had our vacation coming up. I was joining at the end of May. So it was coming up. My son was getting out of Mother's Day out and we were in the summer schedule. And I remember just finally deciding, looking at my calendar and saying, you know what, like I'm available. And I remember the date specifically, June 12th. I can do a show on June 12th. It was like 10 days after I would, you know, when I was like going through and overthinking all of this saying like, I don't know if I want to do this. And of course, like I, I was nervous about it. I didn't know what the people I knew would think about this. I didn't know what they'd think about me. I was, um, I was just kind of a really jumping out on a limb and taking a huge leap of faith to go out and do this. So um, fast forward and I just have found what has been the career of a lifetime. And what I love so much about this business is that this is a business where you get to define your own success. As a PR and events professional, I was measured so much by what um, the return on investment was for our events, what the, you know, the perceived amount of press that we got on events would be when even it was out of my own hands to, you know, to determine that I could do the best job I could do. But if it wasn't interesting to a media outlet, as many ways as I could spin it, it wasn't. I had no sales experience. And I will say that I think I have communication experience, but I had no sales experience. So that was not necessary at all. In fact, I say that it's our jewelry that's our salesperson and we're just the conduit through which that happens because the jewelry really does sell itself and the accessories do as well. So, um, We've built an amazing group of people. Um, their Stella and Dot, I can speak from experience, has been a great way for me to fill my why. And we talk a lot about our whys and um, what drives us to do this. And mine is for flexibility. I didn't want to be on the playground and have somebody call me and me have to like hush and be like, shh. You know, I don't want to, I didn't want to do that to my kids and I didn't want to be that mom because, and what I love about Stella and Dot is that if I choose to take a call when I am with my kids now, it's um, pretty likely that someone's talking in the background. <laughs> and you know what? That's probably the life of who is on the other line with me as well. Um, this is what you make of it. And um, we would just love to share a little bit more with you. So I do hope you'll join us on Thursday evening. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or ask the person who you invited you. And I look forward to visiting with you then. Make it a great day. Bye.